Joining me right now is Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett, a member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, good to see you. You can understand why voters are so frustrated with the Republicans. You said for months and months and months you weren't going to do a deal on continuing Nancy Pelosi's spending until you had some change at the border. That didn't happen, sir. No, it didn't. That's why one of the many reasons I voted against it, that and the uh, runaway spending in, at the Pentagon as well. They're thumbing their nose at the American people. But, you, but Secretary Mayorkas has just continuously lied about this. Um, uh, Chairman Green, who's a fellow Tennessean, has made it, Homeland Security has made it pretty clear. And and he's just continued, uh, Mayorkas has continued to say the border's safe. The president now is saying it's not safe. The president is obviously very confused about where he is and what he's talking about. You know, we've had 10 million people apparently come over the border, possibly in the last three years millions of getaways. And then what's most troubling to me is the hundred over 100,000 children that are in God knows what horrible conditions, sex trafficking, what have you, through the cartels that we've, we've allowed to continue. And if Congress doesn't, it, Congress is going to have to decide what their real duty is. Our duty is, is, the, is, the, is the checkbook of this country, basically, and we need to pull that check back. And, um, you know, people in Tennessee are saying, no border, no budget. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, we're in that dire situation. And, and I want you to realize, too, the president's waited right up to the last minute to say that there's a problem. All those folks are in this country, and you say, well, there, there's no ID check with a mail-in ballot, which you see in a lot of um, the blue states. We, we've got some real problems, Maria, and we need to address them. Well, I don't understand why it's so bad for somebody to go vote and show their ID, first of all, okay? The fact that you don't have ID to actually vote, you need ID to buy a beer, okay? You don't want to have ID to vote. That is outrageous, number one. Number two is, do you find it ironic that here we are on the eve of the New Hampshire primary, 288 days away from a presidential election, and all of a sudden Joe Biden gets religion, telling us that the border is not secure, claiming he's been telling us this for 10 years, despite the fact that three years ago he walked into the Oval Office and reversed all of President Trump's border security. Yes, ma'am. I think he sees Donald Trump knocking at the door once again, yeah. and Trump's a steamroller. He'll roll over him on these issues, and he knows it. And in Tennessee, polling is showing somewhere between 80, 85 percent of the people believe that the budget, it, it, I mean, um, excuse me, the border is is the number one issue right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Now and it's the number one issue, right. That's, and, yeah. and I know the president has somebody whispering in his ear, hey, you're going to have to do something about this. And, right. And Trump will do something. Man, we had we we had, HR two has already been passed by the House. Chuck Schumer is is just sitting there on it. They can fix this problem. That bogus program that they're bringing over from the Senate is dead on arrival. You know, I, all they're doing is choosing loops in our noose that we're going to hang ourselves with. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with that. Now you've got these new deadlines. I presume you expect the appropriations bills to be done by March 1st and March 8th, or are we talking about another Nancy Pelosi continuing resolution next uh, in two months? I think the plan is right now to pass them. I have, I have full confidence in Speaker Johnson. Um, I, I would hope appropriations folks would get to work 24 okay. hours a day, seven days a week, get to work. That's what the uh -huh. American public demands. And, of course, it's not just economic policy that has failed on this administration. Foreign policy is also uh, quite concerning. Two Navy SEALs are now being presumed dead. Central Command calling off a 10-day search after they went missing during a mission to find weapons that Iran was sending to the Houthi rebels. The Houthis also launched a barrage of missiles and rockets at U.S. forces uh, at the Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq. Several military personnel were injured. Some troops are now getting evaluated for traumatic brain injuries, Cheryl. There have been at least 142 attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria since October 17th. And I keep asking the question, who took the call when we did not have a defense secretary in place, nor his number two? Who took the call as our troops were getting attacked 
in the Middle East. Well, sure. Mar yep. Maria, I'm glad that you, you came to me because what, what I wanted to ask the congressman is, you know, we're not dealing with the real problem, and this is Joe Biden not dealing with Iran. I mean, those two Navy SEALs were trying to, um, to, to recover uh, Iranian component parts uh, that are used, that the Houthis are using to attack us, to attack our ships, to attack our military personnel. And it's like they're, they're, Biden keeps rolling out the red carpet for the Iranians, and this is after October 7th. Why are we so misguided in our policies over there right now? It, it's all money. We, we, we did away with President Trump's um, restrictions on Iranian oil. So, of course, they, they've had record, record-breaking profits, billions upon billions of dollars, which they are, in effect, funding the Houthis in this war against us. So it's really wow. a proxy war against us. We're actually funding because yeah. of our, our greed and just our arrogance in the White House and maybe our misunderstanding of, of, of what's going on in the Middle East. But it's a yeah. complete capitulation. And then when and then when our Secretary of Defense is a no-show and nobody knows where he is right. and nobody even bothers to ask, that's, that's got to tell you we've got some real problems top to bottom. Yeah, the, the, the re response to Iran, very similar to the response to China and its aggression, no response. Congressman, thank you very much. We'll keep a spotlight on it. Tim Burchett joining us this morning.